Oh, so here is fine. It is here. There it is. Well, what was it? I don't know. He got. I'm not sure if he's still on, on line on the other services though. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Well, why don't you call your boss? Okay, well, you might check like if we're open on fa uh, Facebook? Facebook or on Twitch and all the other. Get up, get up. Why did you put a good ball? There's a black, of course, but yeah. All right. Hello, amiga. Your turn. Look, you can speak Spanish. <sighs> me this time. Kind of, yeah, never ever seen this one before, but it looks good. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a common game. This one, and you, want, all right. You want to go first? Or you want me to go first? Go first. I'll go first. One. All right.
custom form. I love the rollovers behind each flip, but really satisfying to watch the ball go over it on a cradle. Yeah, it's more satisfying hitting the spinners. Um, yeah, this is definitely a spinner game. You want to increase the value of the spinners on the left and on the right. When the light is off, the value per spin is 200 points. When they are lit, it's 2,000 points per spin. The big one is the one that is on the top, top on the left. The value changes based upon the lights that are cycling right now. They can go from 500 points, I think. Yeah, 500 points per spin, all the way to 4,000 points per spin. Of course, I think I don't know the game. Uh, how do you like them? Uh, the one on the left and one on the right by the inner rollover. If you see the rollover next to the flippers moving up and down, when they are, I mean, you cannot see very well, but they are like on yellow and white. Uh, when they are on white, which is the top one, pretty much you're collecting a letter, a zodiac sign, but then when it's on the yellow, which is the second and the fourth, it will light the spinner. The flipper on the left will light the right spinner. The flipper on the right will light the left spinner. That's how you light the spinners. And then the value, the value on the top spinner, there are a drop down, there's a target bank of three targets. And once that you drop one target, the value, it will just stay. And you have two values on this row, which you cannot see on the camera. But on the left side, it will tell you the value of the spinner. On the right side, it will tell you the value once you drop the three targets. Like for instance, like let's say that you're stuck on the first one, which is 4,000 spin. But if you drop the three targets, it will award you 5,000 points only. In the bottom one, if you have that one, it's 500 per spin. But if you drop the three targets, it would be 100,000 points. Not for spin, but for dropping for the targets. For dropping all the targets, yep. It's very it's easy, I think. The rules are very easy. But yes, definitely to make points is hitting the spinners. Hitting the spinners all day. <clears throat> and it's your turn. All right. Sorry. But I, I brought posters. No, but still. I was trying to avoid using the paper towel. But yes, you can, uh, what? the person asked if he could, if he could shats the rollovers. It's better to just do what I just did, that is backflip the, the flip on the bottom. Why don't you try? You're better at top than me. That's mine, right? Yes. So 
of the value of the spinner right now is at 2,500 points per spin, or 20,000 points if I drop the two. But no, that's all. That's the main spin. You tap out? No, I'm just. Oh, you're chicken. You're chicken. Chicken. Try it. I'm getting points. Still 2,500 points. 2,500 points. There it is. Still 2,500 points. Per spin, and the top spinner on the left is 3000 spin. Alright, let's see, you can estimate to get a 4000 spin. What are you Oop. doing? Speak up, Junior. Me? Try to maximize the value of the top spin, which is 4,000 points, to, to, to time it. Yeah. You want the hard part. Something is better than nothing, though. Sure. Is yours. That one is mm. mine. That is yours. Thank you. That's why I have the two chairs. I just have to stick close. Turns, I feel more difficult than a ball. Balls are easy. Oh, I did it! There you go. There you go. So yes. It is possible. You can tap pass on Stargazer. Yeah, the rules for this one are easy. Uh, last week we streamed Catacomb. That's a hard game. That's a complicated game. The rules are complicated. But after three hours, it's gonna make sense. It kind of makes sense, but yeah, I'll probably forget it next time. Yeah. Okay, boy, David Barber is gonna be at Magfest from Monday to Monday. I mean, that's his job. Is it? Yeah. Is it? I mean, if you're an operator. Into, into arcades. What, is it, what are his dogs going to do for a week? His parents. Oh. I mean, I'm, I would, I'm really curious to see the tab of the hotel. The what? The tab, how much it's going to cost. For, because usually they stay on a suite, on a big suite. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know if like if they're gonna do that because I don't know. I mean, maybe, but there's I mean, no... J will be here, right? No. Huh? There's no pinball tournament, so like it just seems weird to me. Because I think that obviously they come, they set up all this for networking, for possible for business. Yeah, but is there anyone there to network with if all the pinball people aren't there? I don't know. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because you will you will think that like Chicago Expo. Yeah, they're... No, but it's, but it's not a show. No, it's not a show, but... I mean, they're looking for networking and sales, of course. And that's why they set up everything. No, what, 
I just remember it was so funny that day of Chicago, when we were in Chicago, that we went to the suite. And Howard, and, uh, and Howard Stern, no, Howard, no. Howard Stern was not there. No. What's his Who? Stern guy, the Stern. Gary Stern? Gary Stern. Gary Stern, just there sitting in the chair, just shouting. Wait. Did you play my ball? Did I? You got an extra ball? I didn't think I did. I'm player two or player one. You're player two. Well, I played a ball. Did you have an extra ball? Did well, I have an extra ball? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Maybe I played a ball. Maybe you do. Apologize. Oh, my fault, I guess. No, no, it was terrible. And you won. Yeah, Gary's turn in the suite, that was very weird. I mean, it was fun to see. Mm. Anyway, but yeah, want to go first? Sure. Well, yeah, a week. That's a bit much. That's a bit much. Well, the tournament at Manifest cost, it takes a lot of work. Kevin didn't want to wear a mask the whole time, which I agree. Which is also funny still, that they require Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> It, but it's what? the requiring a mask at Magfest in the in the Magfest area, yeah, but the hotel doesn't require doesn't require it. it. Yeah. So the minute people are just gonna take them, yeah. uh, 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 what? <laughs> Setting all that rule, but no. Anyway, so yeah, there's no tournament in Vegas. Which other places are still requiring masks besides medical institutions? Nowhere. Nowhere? Doug Malcolm's house. <laughs> but airports, not, not anymore. Airports, not anymore. Airplanes? Government offices? No. Really? So you can walk now into any yep. government office. Yep. Hmm. Except for Magnus. Except for Magnus. <laughs> and Doug's mom. Which is fine, it's his house. He can set up his rules. But, uh. Mm -hmm. for an event like Magnus. I'm gonna set up the tournament here. Here, when in house? And, and require that everyone not just wear a mask. <laughs> and if someone complains, I'll be like, no, IFPA said that you can require a mask in your house. I prefer this certain type of mask. BSDA, BSDA mask? Not, not any uh, BSDA mask. I want a GIMP mask. I want every, yeah. Everyone has to wear a GIMP mask. Except me. Why? You're going to be with a whip?
spinners, two thousand. Sorry to interrupt you. It had an extra ball, but because I tilt, I lost it. That shouldn't be. Well, I guess that's how it's turned is. No, it's not. Well, it, it happens. <laughs> well, then the, maybe the game's broken. Oh, can't you get it broken? Probably the settings. More problem. What? You think there's a setting if tilt, lose extra ball? No, probably just configure like that. You tilt, ball, your extra ball's gone. Yeah. Hmm. There's one. I don't know. I've, if, if, I've, I've been drinking that one. Have you been drinking that one too? Because it no. seems very low. Mm. Have you had that at all? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you've been drinking mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, yeah, I don't think you've had any of that. I'm definitely drinking mine. Person was like, "Hey, can I get the email address of Lauren McNeil?" And I'm like, oh, who? A, "An other girl." Uh -huh. And I sent Dave a message. I'm like, "Who's Lauren McNeil?" <laughs> and he said, "It's a, a woman he knows from Denver." And I'm like, "Wait, <laughs> you're having a panel about pinball and all women are with to all women." <laughs> I don't know about the third woman, but like, it's just so funny. I mean. But they, of course, is a speaker, and they have all these three women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? Because women in pinball is rare. It's fine that he has women. Sorry, what? It's fine that he has women, but are they going to be able to perform on the panel? No. Like, like I told you last year. He, when, we, when we played Star Trek, he was like, yeah, do a tap pass. Not tap pass. Do a post pass. And and I basically, I did a multi-ball, and I like flipped the ball so I couldn't juggle, right. and people were like, ooh. And I'm like, can all, can all these other panelists do that? I'm like, ah, okay. I hope they're just sitting there. Uh, what, what I find funny is just that there are three girls, right? Yeah. Now there are three girls playing pinball, and they don't really do Oh, that's what I find uh, I remember I t I t so I, this I like a skin question. Kit shirt. No, I, I gained. Or a uniform. The three girls who wear like the same I gained attire. fifteen pounds. Remember? No, it can't be anybody. No, the three of the three of you should wear the same. Huh? The three of you should wear the same attire. That sounds like a great idea. The girls of pinball. Girls of pinball. Value spinner, a thousand points, man. Better than nothing. Yeah. Oh. Flappers? At Macfest? All I know is that last year I had no idea what we were doing 
as we started the town. I had no idea what we were supposed to be doing. But he hasn't said anything. But it was pretty, it was pretty good, actually. Yeah. It was nice. It was nice. I mean, it does help that Dave's a nice guy, you know? Yeah, he's a nice. nice guy. It does help. You think that helps him help? Yeah, well, you can help the personality of the speaker, definitely. My only question is, like, from the business perspective, is, like, what they are getting, you know? But I mean, I remember that when Eric used to do it, yes, he will get a lot of money for it. Where's the popcorn? Are you gone? It's four hours put frenzy on to me. Four hours? Oh, that's long. Would you, would, would you want to drive to Richmond for a two hour foot frenzy? No, no, no. But how, the one that bumps is what, 12 hours and a half with a 15 minute break. So yeah, yeah, this three is, hours isn't that long. This is four hours, right? Did I say four? Uh huh.
my spear nerf to throw some points. Two point two million still far from six. Damn. Yep, not think. You wanna go first or you want me to go first? Tap has, right? I mean, you saw me do it, right? Yeah. Can get to have Kevin's house by eleven. Um. Yes. Glass of beer. Yeah, the doors open at 11 and it starts at 1, so I guess we want to get there around 11.30, right? Yeah. I've never played this game before. He said on the email he changed the settings for the scary ball. It won't be a scary ball, you have to do the scoop. Where did he say that? Oh, you know.
card settings. No, that's no, but that's easier. Because he's saying this it, book. Yeah, when you hit the scoop, multi ball starts. Yeah. So you don't even have to hit the scary ball. Once you like this multi ball and hit the scoop, it starts. It's easier. I think hitting the miss ball is hard. Yeah, so you don't time it? Yes. Big monster right here. To do what? I have to do something with this big plant. To move it. Oh, the, the problem is that I need an area that is wide. Wide. It can go um, in the TV room upstairs. Where? Um, where the snake plant is. Where the snake plant is? The snake plant. Oh. In the Where the laser discs are? Yeah. Where are they? Yeah. They won't have enough sun there. I think they will. Yeah. You, you leave those curtains open during the day. Don't yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're in the spring. You can move it there now. No. Oh, you see that, that target up there? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. And this one, too. No. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to place the socket. I do have sockets. Clean them up by already um tie them up but um uh, usually it's the bottom of the socket that gets like loose. My young about playing Tommy. Yes. Uh, oh man. Is he even coming? I don't know. I think so not. Oh, oh this this socket's bad too. See how it's flickering? Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. That actually could be it just lose the ball. Because that I haven't touched that. But um I think the ones on the top is Tommy's another weird database game. It is weird. With fucking, fucking weird scoring. It's like, oh, you you, you hit a, a stand-up target. Here's 50 million points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, you have to aim always for skill shots. Always. And uh, this gets to the mirror multiple. For mirror, mirror multiple. But skill shot is crucial. Skill shot's only 10 million points. You can increase every, every ball. Yeah, but every. Which is a lot. I mean, yeah, you should get it. Yeah. But. I mean, yeah, just like yeah, skill shots, 60 million. million. You made the three skill shots. I 
place in uh, Chicago, too. Oh, yeah. They did really bad on that. In that group tournament. I did really bad this year on that thing. All our good years and all our bad years. So you said that there is no more women's tournament for the rest of the year. In Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, or DC. Oh, well, Laura throws Thursday night uh, women's tour tournaments in Richmond. I'm not, I'm not driving down there. It's too far. You have know, women's? Yeah, she, she holds uh, women's tournaments like every Thursday. Oh. Like every other Thursday or something. Oh, okay, okay. But it's not Thursday, so I don't know. It is fun. For a Thursday. Yeah. For school night, yeah. That's too fun. Right? Yeah. If I were in Chicago, yeah. I would run a women's tournament the day before, just like for fun. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew if they were going to do that. Mm. Ow. Ow. I'll just go a day early anyway. Austin, anytime television. Austin. Austin is gameplay and talk. Oh. Game time television is uh, oh, right. you know tiki. Right. Yeah, which they should have continued their very their way better idea of a podcast. Yeah. And um, then then it's your turn. Stop eating the corn the corn kernels of the popcorn. Because you ate all of the, all the popcorn. I did not eat all the popcorn. She made like a bread with Nutella. Yum. Bread? Just bread with Nutella? Slice of bread with Nutella. Yeah, the stargazer is nice. I assume that's Leslie.
finally spring, which is kind of an endeavor. It was good. Someday I will go to Smuggler's Cove. And you will get wasted. I won't get wasted, because I won't remember it. Oh, I can take selfies. I hate selfies, you guys. That's why he's making that joke. Should buy a selfie stick. I honestly, until that we just recently saw it, I haven't really seen selfie sticks in a while. Like I don't see people walking around with selfie Not sticks anymore. anymore. Not anymore. But, which is weird though, because I remember it was well, maybe three years ago the yeah. boom of the sticks, oh. and everybody was walking with their selfie sticks. But I think that, uh, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know like what's wrong with asking someone, hey, can you take our photo? Because it looks so much more natural. Although I guess people can take bad pictures. You didn't like that picture that one person took of us. I still haven't seen it. What? You're, what? You were talking to me? Yeah, this, the picture that someone else took of us and you didn't like it and I still haven't seen it? Yes, true. So that's why I, why I wanted to use a selfie stick. Yeah. Yeah, but it's true. Selfie sticks like not anymore. I think people are just like more conscious like oh shit, I look like this. song for us. You have your uh, yeah, DJ Burrito. What? No. What? We do like the game time TV television song. Oh, so my edges? So no, from your from your like from my people. Yeah. No, no, from your from your uh, the samples you bought. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't going to be funny. And uh, I mean, that's probably in fair use. It's probably probably not a copyrighted thing anymore. I think it is copyrighted. So after, I mean, how long is how, how old is this song? I have no idea. It's pretty old, right? Probably forty years old. Yeah, it's maybe? probably in, it's probably in uh, the public domain by now. So you mean if we play it now? We'll I'm saying there. that you can record yeah, no, I know. a version of Burrito Sabanero. Am I saying it right? No. Nope. What am I saying wrong? Sabanero. So no R. I mean, besides that you're some green guy, you know? Wait, so people would know what I was saying? Sabanero. But, but, but what was I saying? Sabanero? Yes, Sabanero. Yeah. Sabanero. 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 You sound so gringa. Well, I am. Burrito Sabanero. Burrito. No, no. Burrito. 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 I can't roll my R's. Burrito. Bur burrito. No. Burrito. Dude, if I was in Mexico and I said burrito, I'm pretty sure they know what I meant. Yeah, they would do that. Oh, Gringa. She has dollars. She has dollars, don't you say? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's her. Try to say that. Burrito. Burrito. No, dude. Burrito Sabanero. No, dude, no. Boo. Boo. Ri. Oh, boo Rito? Try, try to say the ri. Huh? Ri. I can't roll my R's. Try. No, I can't do it. That's like saying speak in, speak in, in Swedish. I cannot do it. 
burrito. Burrito. I can't roll my heart. Remember when we looked this up? It's like a thing that some people can't do. And then you shit. And there was a video we found with like a woman who said what, what uh, or something. Some word that she said to repeat over and over again. So shit. So you would learn it? Leslie said that it's time to hear the burrito habanero. <laughs> it's habanero, no habanero. Burrito habanero sounds like something you would eat at from Chipotle. I think she's talking about a restaurant a in habanero. San Francisco <laughs> burrito called habanero. Bur Burrito Habanero. Yeah. Burrito habanero. Uh, we're talking about the song. There's, there's like this, this like silly um, Mexican Christmas song called Burrito Sabanero. I think it's actually Mexican. Wait, what is it? Is it Spanish? Well, it's in Spanish, but no. No, I mean, from Spain? No. Well, then where would what would it? Well, oh, you mean like, it'd be like Peru? Catholic continent. This is Spanish. That's true. So what, so it's, it's from like Panama? Like where is it? I have no idea. Okay, let me see. Burrito Sabanero. Anyway, it's a silly kid song. It's a kid song. It's silly. It's on Spotify. <laughs> It is. It's on all your streaming platforms. Yeah, it's just a silly kid song. Burrito Sabanero. But it's about right, this little this, this kid who's riding his uh, donkey, his little donkey, to Bethlehem. Marcos Pastores tells and this guy. It's your turn. Yeah. It is the original, the original Sudamericana. Yes, from Venezuela, and it was in 1972. Yeah, yeah, it's from Venezuela. The Burrito de Belen, so Bethlehem donkeys, Bethlehem donkeys. You're looking at IFPA rankings, you nerd. No, I'm looking at uh, tournaments in San Francisco. Nerd. Since Leslie is from San Francisco. Because I want to go to... San Francisco. I've never been to San Francisco. I'm like some sort of like weird kick, I guess. Since I've never been there. It does seem very strange that I've been there. Especially since there is a great tiki bar there. That, that I want to go to. Also, there's another tiki bar in San Francisco that I'm unclear if I want to go to or not. She might know. The, 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 the one where it rains inside the hotel. Yeah, like Bourdain went there. But then, like, I was like looking up about it, and it's unclear if it's actually good. Rain. Tonga Room in the Fairmont. The Tonga Room. Yeah, it's in the Fairmont Hotel. Mm -hmm. And uh, every like hour it rains inside. Like uh, the produce at the supermarket. No, to Tonga Room is in San Francisco. Tonga Hut is in LA. I think. So, again, so it. So it rains like if you were a lettuce. You have seen right in the grocery store. See what? That like every 45 minutes in the produce section, oh, they yeah. will like mist. And in some cases, I don't know if you've ever seen like, there's an audio of a thunderstorm. <sighs> Lights. Oh. It, I think yeah. Trader Joe's had yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh... so the lettuce can feel like, oh, so, uh, uh, Jose and I went to Tonga Hut, which is in LA, and Tonga, uh, Tonga Hut was good at first. Oh, that's where you made friends? Oh, the drunk people that didn't believe I was 40. Um, uh, it was fun, it was good at first, but, but then, the like, music. yes, an hour in, they were playing, like, normal, like, exotica music, and it was like a normal music. 
dark. Then we started playing like Dark Side Doors. Yeah, and it was very disturbing. And I actually, I actually wrote a, an email to the manager about it because that's one that you play. That, I mean, that's dude, that's like answer? a big a, yeah. No. They, the manager did not respond to my email. No. No. Like you're crazy. But yeah, that's what I wrote about Tonga Room. That the drinks weren't very good. But yeah, I've never been to San Francisco. But so you tilt, you lose your extra ball. You lost your extra ball again? Yep. Yep. Oh, that's that's a good That's a good punishment. Yeah. You tilt, you lose your extra ball. Gonna make it to two. Oh, I won't. Yeah, you made it to two. I haven't made it to one. Yeah, I would, like, I would like to go to City Champ. Although the tacos outside Tonga Room were good. Tonga Hut. Tonga Hut. Tonga Hut is LA. Tonga Room is San Francisco. Yeah, when we were, there were Mexican Mexican family making some tacos yes. outside. And I was mingling with them, talking about tacos, and they were good. Very good tacos. The thing about City Champ is that I remember, I think City Champ is in August, right? I remember that it was, I was like, oh, I should go. But I was going to Burning Man, which was like two weeks later. So I was like, well, do I fly to San Francisco and then stay there <laughs> for two weeks and then go? Because that wouldn't work. But I should go anyway. Jesus Christ. Did you put your victory? No. I was thinking that you might be victorious. Nope. Oh, I thought I thought I wasn't good at classic. You're good. You're improving. <laughs> you're improving. That's the reason we're playing classics, so your game can improve. You know what? It's what I'm bad at. I'm classics. <clears throat> but like especially EMs. It's an EM, it's Fahrenheit. So. I played some weird EM in Chicago. Um, it was called like. It wasn't Joust, the, like, it was like an EM. It's really weird. Yeah, they're weird titles. Yeah. Wait. You put a, two, a one player oh, game, Dum Dum. Again. Pull the button now. You, you see? Oh, what was that? Yeah, because the ball hasn't oh, been. Oh, well, we yeah, no. Yeah. Wait, yeah, sorry. So yeah, it was. It's this weird EM. It's Bally Joust. Bally Joust. Yeah, from 19, uh, 1969. It was a really strange game. Hmm. It uh. That you played at uh, Chicago Expo? Yeah. Small flipper? No. Oh, yes. Oh, I remember seeing. I didn't play, but I seen it. I weird. Saw, saw a lot it was of weird. Because it was also the, the little flippers. It mm -hmm. was like really hard to get it up top to where you needed it to go to go through that like little check checkerboard or whatever. Yeah. What? Oh! 
2,000 points. Yeah, I, I think this is an original. This is our friend's machine. Oh, gosh, I should have done that. Yeah! 8,000 points. We are professionals. We are professional players here. Um. a new MPU and an article for LED board. The value of the spinner, 3,000 points. That's pretty good. The problem is to keep it. Huh? The problem is to keep the spinner. It's like Scooby Doo. That's so you can hide behind the flippers. Oh, uh, I thought you meant the, the um, theme. I was like, that's not a original theme at all. Yeah, um, but something. Something that needs to be different, you know, like a new. I mean, I'm not 100% fond of Scooby Doo. Um, yeah, I never really, I never really liked that cartoon. No. Because, like, um, Shaggy was like a dumbass. <laughs> he, was, he was always high. But when I was a kid, I didn't know he was high. I thought he was only just slow. Yeah, but, but, you, but, but he is. They don't say in the show that he's smoking weed. But he is. No, people just say that because he's so stupid. And then they had looks. And, and then they had Scooby snacks. Yeah, which are like edibles. Yeah, but that, <laughs> yeah. But that was like made up. <laughs> is it? I mean, they didn't say in the show, hey kids, Scooby snacks are weed. It's our edible. You should eat some. <laughs> Tell your parents that you want to buy some Scooby snacks from your yeah, well, from think, the dealer I think outside. I think it was edibles. Hello, Eric. Hi, Eric. Want this game, Eric? Do you, meaning, do you would you like a, a stargazer? Coffee, no? No, Sambuca is a is, is like a licorice I liqueur. That. I hate it. It's my least favorite alcohol. Wasn't big in the 80s. 
shit. It's tilted, I guess. Um, well, yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. So and internet just dropped. What, we just got a bunch of people watching. Internet just dropped. Oh, we're back. Okay. Uh, let's see. What? I would rather drink 10 bottles of, uh, the Lord. Yeah, Sambuca. Sambuca is yucky. How can you say that about Sambuca? It's way better than tequila. Hell no. What? What? No. The kid is way better than Sambuca. I, I really don't like licorice things. So. Mezcal. Mezcal is good. Yeah, Sambuca and tequila are two different things. You have an extra bowl here. I have an extra bowl. Yeah, just, I do not enjoy licorice flavored things. I'm a fan of Galeano Sambuca. Huh. Sambuca. I think I tried it, but it was not. It's a beer. It's like coffee liquor now. Are you thinking it for Renee Bronca? I'm just trying to think. How, how do you drink Sambuca? Do you make a cocktail out of it or straight? I mean, I don't drink it ever, so I don't know what you do with it. But I think you're thinking of an aperitif. Yeah. I think you're thinking of Fernet. Like that star for Sambuca is clear. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was dark. No. Okay. I think I think you're thinking of something else. Kalua. Kalua. <laughs> Kalua. That goes in coffee. And everyone likes that. I like an ice cream. Oink, oink, oink. I want some vanilla ice cream is good. What? Vanilla ice cream? Then if yeah, you mix it with Bailey's. Good. You put Bailey's in vanilla ice cream and then just a trip of some of well, the way. Why don't you put it in coffee? No, because you got the ice cream. And then you have your regular coffee. Alright. What do you want again? Are you being serious about Sambuca? Are you seriously buy that? I, I really don't know much about it. Although, I've had it in one kind and it was not good. In my opinion. But I don't like it. Yum. Yuck. You're yuck. Campari is good. 
When I was in Italy, they had another. Um, Typo? I think I just took a picture of it for you, right? Yeah. I'm thinking and it was so cheap. It was so cheap. It was like $12. Why didn't you buy a Because box? I couldn't bring it in my carry on and I didn't have a check bag. And the, the where, where I. You were talking about duty free? Yeah. And, I, and, no. and you can't. Um, You're going to bring it in your hand? No. Really? Even though it was, I was already past security, yeah. once I got to Newark, yeah. they reprocessed you through security again okay. when you got off the plane. So you can't have it in your check bag. Oh, right. I mean, in your, in your, your carry-on. Carry on. Yeah, so I couldn't buy it. Otherwise, I would have. It was so cheap. And it tasted just like Campari. And it was $12. I bought bottles of Campari are like 50 bucks. Anyway. Nope. Nope. No, not unless you're checking a bag, which is... I'm checking a bag, anyway. You are? Yes, I am. Why? I only won't feed all the shit that I'm going. What are you bringing that's... I mean, it's not that I bring a lot. It's nine days, ten days. One thing is when we go play people for a weekend, which is two days, two I, days. When I went to Japan, nine days. when I went to Japan, I had that my, the little carry-on that you make fun of. Yeah. And a backpack for two weeks. Well, you... Does everyone say how much they love Campari, or is everyone ignoring me? Uh, Ruko loves Campari, and Leslie loves Campari. Ew, no! Hello, Rocco is Leslie. I know, Leslie. Leslie likes Campari. Yeah, because it's good. Yeah. <laughs> The Jungle Lord? Jungle Bird! Oh, Jungle Ew, Bird. Jungle Lord cocktail, gross. <laughs> Yeah, your bonus. Who's having it, is that? Eric. 
Ares. Ares. Jennifer Coleman, the, the cat, the cinnamon. You mean fireball? Fireball. That's what Eric means. Fireball, bro. Fireball. What is, what is the most popular liquor in Australia? Like, is there like, I mean, I mean, I, I can't think of one for America, but. Is this not whiskey? Well, whiskey's popular everywhere. Nobody in the U.S. You want to say that it will be the most popular liquor? I guess. Let's see. Almighty oh, Google. Let's see. What it's it's probably, probably vodka. Oh, so I don't mean like the most purchased, but like. No, most popular. No, I mean like some liquor that's like quintessentially Australian. Like, uh, like chicken farm. The most popular liquor in every state. No. No. Tito's vodka is the most selling. Yeah, I was about to say it's gonna be vodka because people just want to get Number trash. Number two, Smirnoff. Yeah, people just want to get trash. Number three, Crown Royal. What's Crown Royal? Oh, that's a whiskey. Whiskey. Bacardi. Number four. Jim Beam. Fireball. Number six. Yeah, that's what all this is. Then vodka, New Amsterdam vodka. Then Captain Morgan. Then Jack Daniels. Number 10. You already said Jack Daniels. Vodka. So yeah, Titus. Titus is the first word. That's good. Is it good or not? Most vodka tastes all the same. Vodka is like. Vodka is vodka, in my opinion. Tito's has a good marketing campaign. Yeah. Tequila could overtake vodka as America's favorite liquor sales go. But tequila and mezcal was the second fastest growing spirits category. First extra ball or will be your second? No, it's not my first. My so, first. yes, you probably need to do it two times. He won't give it to you until you have the second ball. Well, then it shouldn't light until it's the second completion. No, you're asking too much. Yeah, I, I like that sound. It sounds like a, a crappy rave uh, song. <laughs> like a, a crappy rave song? Like a crappy like sample, yeah. Like, you know, like a, a crappy... It's off now? It was just on and now it's off. What? The light. Which light? The extra ball? Oh yeah, it's the alternate. It's on what? On the slingshot above the flippers.
1.7 mil. Is that like good. a dingery do? Huh? Whiskery do. Whiskery do. Whiskey, but drank through a dingery do. Victory. Oh, you only have three wins? Yeah, man. What the fuck happened? Flaw. Alright. Let's play it. Oh, this is ball three. Oh, oh my goodness. You know what, what will be good now? What? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You have that? I know. I know. Pretty good. You can make one? You want one? No. You, you should have one now? No, I don't. You should not. No, I'm saying I, I if you want one, no. I'm not preventing you from having one. I know. I'm just, you know, throwing ideas. Mm. And we have a can of gummy bears. No, those are, for, those are for Sarah. <laughs> the most expensive can of gummy bears. But they were free. They were free. Yeah, I got the... Did you try the socks? Are they any good? I haven't tried them yet. Those socks, that brand of socks, if they ever get a hole in them and you contact yeah, them, you're telling yeah, me they, they replace them. And they actually get holes in them all the time, so. Oh, really? Yeah. And they I have some. Them? Yeah, they replace them, yeah. Every time? I mean, I haven't done it a bunch. But what, it's a lifetime warranty? Yeah. Wow. I mean, as long as they're still around. No, t no questions asked. They make you take a picture of the sock and they ask you for the order number if you place the order, but if it was a gift order, they just want a picture of it. Wow. I mean, granted, they're not cheap. No. Is it on the American brand? Yeah. They were on Shark Tank, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. What did they make? I mean, what, what they are so special about it? Six million coming out from nothing. Coming out from nothing. <laughs> you know you're wearing that horrible jacket in public. Um, no, I'm not outside the house. But people are watching you from outside the house. Well, they think I'm here and they can both take it out. Are you going to TPF, Eric? points of spinner. That's good. And I have 4,000 points on the sport. Let's see.
with it. The thing about mm. Indus is that it's only a tournament. It's not a show. Yep. Like you have to really want to play in a tournament the entire time. Which I I like, but... Yeah, Eric said that to get from Australia to the US. Eric, when you say that the prices are astronomical, how much are we talking? Thanks for the like, Tom. And is this like first class or just like business or economy class? I feel like Eric's a fancy guy. Fly business or first? No, I've never flown business or first internationally in my entire life. I think maybe if I did, I would, never, I would be annoyed that I it was so expensive because I bet I could finally sleep on a plane. If I could put my seat all the way down. When you went to Italy this year, you did not sleep at all? No. No, no, no. no. I mean, I, okay, this, let, let's put it, you, I, I, I'm sure at some point on the flight, I fell asleep with my mouth open. But, for, and, you, you know, that kind of thing. Really? Yeah, yeah, but not like any sustained sleep. No. Yeah. right? Yeah, it just is just a turn. And it was, it, I enjoyed it this both years, but it was more of a attraction when the, it was at the museum of Finwall. You dumb dumb! Oh. They said? Yes, it said it was a it was a zombie, I think, which is but they always say that. They're fine. <laughs> They're fine. Until then. Yeah, I was glad you could drive with this the car. They had Phil to come Uber and pick us up. But there so you know how we went to Tonga Hut in LA? Mm hmm There was a Tonga Hut also in Palm Springs. And I picked bootlegger over that because it was only in Palm Springs. But, uh, I'd like to go to there, but I guess not ever again. You know, let's go to uh, Coachella in Palm Springs. What's the name of that restaurant we went? In Palm Springs? We didn't go to a restaurant in Palm Springs. Oh, uh, see you, Eric. We didn't go to a restaurant in Palm Springs. What's it? Where was it? LA? What's LA? 
The rest of the ice cream. They oh, yeah, that was Japanese. an outlet. That was an outlet. Yeah, that was an outlet. Mm. That was Mayordomo, right? Yes. Major. Major though.
Bonus multiplier carryover from multiple. Probably. Probably not. Although I didn't see that option on the side. kitchen not here actually now in the office in the office the chair you can unplug whatever is yeah Turn. Thousand and ten. Thank you. 
Extra bowl, right? Mm-hmm. You saw the GC. I saw how much you see. Right or 
just yeah. drop catches no, and drain. I got a neutral bolt. Oh. So there's still hope for you? Still hope. Still bolt three. Oh god. <laughs> Now I have that Zodiac song. Sockets that still giving trouble. But I thought, oh, you claim them. I claim them, but it's 
still like going bad, that would need to be replaced. Which I'm probably going to do two. Two sockets. Assemble a uh, diner to put all the other dishes and clean up. Yeah, yeah that I'm afraid is gonna be dirty. Yeah, it is dirty. There was a game that we took it apart to put LEDs and we clean up the inserts also. Which one? That it was like extremely dirty. It was. Was it Whirlwind? That I removed it. We, we just did we cleaned this up. Yeah, we did this one, but I remember one that it was like extremely dirty. Like really, really dirty. All the inserts. Yeah, that's what we have to do with it. It is well. It's four thousand. Four thousand points of spin. Well, I think it's funny you say dollars. No, no, don't stop. Don't stop. Switch. Nothing.
sound again. <laughs> oh. Okay, that I just lit and it didn't light. Yeah, no, I saw that. You heard it though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My sound! Stopping by, we're done, and uh, we're taking off one week for Christmas. Santa Claus, yay! It's for next week. No, <laughs> no, you don't want to. We need the break. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll catch up soon. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.